Kilauea volcano continues to erupt at its summit, with multiple vents along the crater floor and western wall, feeding into an active lava lake. As of Sunday morning, all lava activity is confined to the summit caldera, within Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. The USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory reports seismicity and volcanic gas emission rates remain elevated. The amount of sulfur dioxide was higher than the previous day, and was measured at approximately 14,750 tons per day. These time-lapse videos recorded by USGS webcams capture the ongoing activity in the crater. Over the past 24 hours, the lava lake level has risen over 1 meter, or more than 3 feet. This image, posted to the HVO website, provides a good look at the changes to the lake since the new eruption began on September 29th. In total, the molten surface has risen approximately 27 meters, or 89 feet, since the start of the event. Geologists say the west vent continues to be the most vigorous source, with sustained lava fountain heights of 10 to 15 meters, or 33 to 49 feet. A comb is being built around it. Other vents continue to be active, including a 35-meter or 115-foot-long fissure in the central and southern parts of the lava lake. On the surface, localized crustal foundering continues, and scientists say that due to the location of the vents, the lava lake is not level. The west end is 3 to 6 feet higher than the east end. HEO notes that no unusual activity has been observed in the volcano's east rift zone. Scientists say they will continue to closely monitor Kilauea and provide daily updates on changing conditions.